A Kiwani woman is in a fight with the city after being forced to stop building a new fence around her home. And this is not your typical fence. Here's a look at what she's doing that city leaders don't like. The fence is a collection of connected doors. Brenda Weston started building it over the summer, but soon got a cease and desist letter. The zoning board and city council both rejected her request for a permit. Local force Chase Davis joins us in the studio with a fight over the fence of doors. Chase? Jim, I visited Brenda's house this evening and found that she wanted to make the door fence for not only economic reasons, but for safety reasons as well. I just want to give, you know, I want a fair chance at making it look nice. Brenda Weston has lived at this house since 2003. She and her husband foster and rescue animals at their home in Kiwani. Recently, she's tried to replace the fence around her house in a unique way. Well, to be honest, I do not have the money to go replace it right now. I mean, like I said, a lot of these doors were given to us. Um, we bought several doors off of Facebook for like $10 a piece or $5 a piece. Weston started building the fence in August, however, she was sent a cease and desist. She went to the zoning board and then to the city council in September, who denied a variance request for her to finish the fence. One of them spoke up and said, I do not like your fence. I do not want it in my neighborhood. Then they all started kind of backtracking a little bit. You know, well, you know, it doesn't meet our ordinance. Weston said that she wanted to build the door fence because it seemed to help keep her dogs safe. Actually, since we put the doors up, our dogs, when we let them out, they stand at the doors and look at them. They have never once jumped on them. They don't try to go over them. They kind of keep looking at me like, when are you going to open it? Now, Local 4 News tried to reach out to the city council member who lives in her neighborhood. However, we've yet to hear back. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Chase Davis for Local 4 News. Chase, thank you.